Shalom, this is GMS South Holland coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Before I start off, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rokha Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there. They're spreading this word of society and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. I want to tap into this lesson real quick, okay, concerning. Uh, the way you should feel towards your possessions or whatever you have been blessed with by your heart, Hashem Shai, in this world, you know, as 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 it comes, as far as it comes to family, loved ones, uh, maybe your uh, your finances or whatever. Okay, there, you always have to remember that at any time you can lose all of that. Okay, look at Job. Okay, look at Job, man. When you read the book of uh, Job, chapter one and two. You, you realize that he had it all, but then he lost it all, okay? And guess what? That was his character development, man. That was his, that was the Lord's way of building this man up, okay? And at the same time, having an example for, uh, 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 having an example for us out there, you know, to, to see, like, this is what the Heavenly Father can do at any time, man, okay? But then, when you have all those things, what is the mentality that you should have uh, from there on out, okay? What is the mentality that you should have from there on out, man? Okay, this is Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that they may win Yahweh Shai. Okay, so actually... The way you should look at um, at the the possessions of this world is that you should consider it but dung, man. Okay, of course you love your children, you love your wife, you love your you know your parents, whatever you got. Of course, you have great feelings towards that. But really, at the at the end of the day, man, when you lose it, you know you know the Lord Jehovah Shai got better things uh, waiting for you, man. Are things things behind be, beyond your comprehension? Okay, things that we haven't seen yet, okay, things that we haven't witnessed yet, you cannot fathom, okay. Y'all, Bashim Yosha, I got those things waiting for us, man. Okay, so what I wanted to do was read this scripture real quick in the NLT and show you even, you know, more direct what this is going into, man. Okay, this is, um, this is the NLT version. The NLT version I'm going to read. Okay? It says what? Um, yes. Everything, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Yahweh Shai. Amashayach, my Lord. For His sake, I have dis discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage. So that I could gain Yahweh Shai. Now it's not necessary to toss everything away, man. Whatever you got, whatever the Lord has given unto you, it's not necessary to toss it all away. But you always have to keep it in the back of your mind like Yahweh Shai Yah can't take it all away. And what is going to be your mentality then? Okay, how strong and faithful are you going to be then, man? Okay, that's what you got to stay mindful of, man. Okay, that's what you got to stay mindful of. How will you be able to conduct yourself when you lose it all? Okay, it already happened to me, okay? Which I didn't expect it uh, to happen in that way and in that manner and that fast. But that shows you, man, like you always have a blind spot when it comes to the Heavenly Father, man. You always have a blind spot. He can always give you that, um, that blind spot and you don't see it coming, man. Okay, you want to be prepared for these circumstances, but really you can't. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is in control. Okay, and that should always keep the fear of Yahweh Shem Yahweh within you, man. Okay, and then you're also going to be prepared what to do. If you memorize this scripture, if you keep this, this scripture in your mind concerning, like, how should you be, stay strong? You know, in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, how should you uh, remain faithful and always, you know, 
keep that strength within you, man. Meditate upon this scripture, okay? There's also a saying in the world, you got to be, as a man, to be strong, a strong individual. If a man wants to be a strong individual, he got to be, he got to be prepared to lose the things that he loves and values the most, okay? Now for us, of course, what we love and value the most is this truth. It's your how about Shimei on Shai? Okay, if that's not the case with you, hey, you might be, not be worthy of salvation, man. And it sounds harsh, but that's the truth, man. You might not be worthy of salvation. Because if you love anything else above your Abba Shemyon Shai, guess what? Your mentality towards um, this truth is that other things come first. Okay, now we, in this truth, we often see that, okay, it doesn't matter which camp or where, where. Uh, in the world or what location there is always individuals that love other things more than this truth so they commit to other things more than this truth and if you are surrounded by men that are not like that okay that have a different mind a different spirit upon them which is like the truth is above all okay you're gonna you're gonna stand out man okay you're gonna stand out now of course there is a balance and not everyone was prophets. Not everyone was was uh, teachers. Okay, there were men that um, believed in Yahweh Shimon Shai, but other than that, wasn't doing too much with it. Okay, that might be their office. But then again, why are you in the camp? Okay, and that that is then for the camp has to, you know, distinguish between like, is he fit for the camp? Yes or no. Okay, bring out the trooper test. Let's see how, how deep he is with the scriptures. Does he know the basic uh, basic knowledge or not? Okay. But really, um, you got to have that fearful mind, man, concerning this. Because if you set other things before this truth, if you put other things above Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, okay, the most I might just leave you without, man, without anything. Those things that you love the most, okay, the most I might just take it all away. $110,000, guys, $110,000 for the winner. Slakya. To mute the, the notifications real quick. So, yeah, man. The most I might just leave you without any of that. Okay, and guess what? What are you going to do then? You're going to look for those things you had before you paid more attention to um, the worldly things. You're going to look for Yahweh Hashem Yashai again. Okay? But what does Hebrew say? Okay, let me read this one again. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Yahweh Shai, my Lord. For his sake, I have dis discarded everything else, counting it all garbage, so that I could gain Yahweh Shai. You see that? That's the mentality that you should have. That's the mentality that the Apostle Paul had, counting all other things garbage, that he might gain Yahweh Shai. Shai. Now, um, what, did the, uh, what did the Apostle Paul say? Be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. So, Apostle Paul for us is a great example to walk after and to follow. Okay? Desiring to, to be like him. He did the right things, man. Look how many books in the New Testament were written by him. Okay? Now we are making all these videos, we are doing all these live sit-downs and teachings, okay? It's not for no reason, man. It's to show an example of how to be, okay? That Lord willing, you might be in the same spirit of making these lessons, of going live and instructing brothers and guiding brothers and, you know, breaking down scriptures, okay? Lord willing, you come in the same spirit, okay? Let, let that fire rub off on each other, man. That's what we pray. That's what we hope is going to happen. Okay? That's the motivation. Also, and to preach the word and to edify people, of course. Okay? We want everyone to be edified with these lessons. That's why we always say, man, shalom to the brothers. We hope that this was edifying and to the next lesson. Okay? That's what we hope, man. That's what we pray. You see? And at the same time, we pray you, you do likewise. You, I pray brothers bring out videos and lessons that I get edified by. Okay? 
that, that help me in the time of need, in the time when I'm feeling down or whatever, or when I need uh, to hear a breakdown that I'm not aware of yet, or that I maybe break down the wrong way, you know, you pray, how about Shimon Shai, lead you to these breakdowns and these lessons that you are in need of, okay? But again, man, if you prioritize this world, guess what? The Lord ain't gonna prioritize you neither, man. You ain't prioritizing him, so why would the Lord prioritize you? You understand? And that should be the fear that is within you, man. If you don't have that fear within you, guess what? You might be for the missiles, man. Okay, this is uh, Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. You don't want to fall short. You don't want to fall short to the uh, glory and salvation of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. You want to be saved. You want to be helped. You want to be guided. Okay, you want to be protected. Okay, you want to make it into those chariots, man. You want to make it into those missiles. Okay? So you got to pray for that, man. And have that fear within you. Knowing that the Lord can do all these things. Knowing that the Lord can, okay, put a barrier around you. You know, the fire ain't touching you. All these things, man. Okay? But you got to have that fear. You got to be, you, you got to be fearful in a way that what if I just don't make it? Like, I explained many times, you need 70%. But what if you only make, get like 69.9%? 69.9% You fucked man You fucked 69.9% man Meanwhile you need 70 man You gonna hate yourself too man That's where that um, uh, Confounding spirit uh, Comes from man Okay you're gonna feel confounded You're gonna feel Ashamed Okay Let me grab Daniel's 12 real quick Okay It's Daniel's 12 and 2 And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth Shall awake Okay, those that awake up to the wake up to this truth and actually show diligence towards Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, they wake up out of sleep. They wake up out of the dust, the 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 this, the um, what does it say? The dust of the earth, man. Which that dust represents confusion. Okay, the man of the Lord gonna wake up out of this confusion, man. Okay, and come to this truth, come to the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Okay. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting content. Because when you wake up in the kingdom, okay, when you wake up out of dust in the kingdom, because you're going to be reincarnated in the kingdom, everyone is going to be righteous, but you're going to have that shameful spirit upon you, man. Because you're going to realize, like, damn, I didn't make it, man. Okay? You came back to the loins of your father, which is a man of the elect. Okay? You did make it. And you didn't. That's a shameful thing, man. Especially when you already were in the truth, but you didn't do the right things with it, man. You didn't do the things with it that Yahweh Shemion Shai expected from you. Okay? That's fucked up. So back to Hebrews 4. I think it's Hebrews 4. Um, let me see. Hebrews 5. Bear with me for a moment. Um, Hebrews 6, yeah. This is Hebrews 6 and, um, and 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucified themselves the son of the most high afresh and put him to an open shame okay so don't think you know you're gonna be covered again man when you fall off when you prioritize other things when you prioritize your family when you prioritize the worldly things okay don't think your is just gonna cover you again man it's like it's like telling him to go on the cross again because you needed the second chance we this is already your second chance man this is already your second chance okay there ain't gonna be no third chance man it's impossible for those who were once enlightened who came to the truth okay to bring them back to repentance man you now know what to do man that's why hebrews 12 
see hebrews 12 goes also into that same thing man okay the man that knew the lord's will okay uh, luke 12 verse 47 and that servant which knew his lord's will and prepared not himself neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whomsoever much is given uh, of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more now if you have received all these talents these blessings you know to preach the word to minister unto Yahweh but you don't do nothing with it man those blessings those those gifts that Yahweh Shah is giving you will be given unto someone else okay and when it's given unto someone else um, you're gonna be without man and when you're without guess what we ain't got nothing to offer y'all but Shimon Shai. And as a matter of fact, the scriptures even say the Lord can raise up stones and make them to come and worship before him. So he doesn't need you at all. So if you want to prioritize other things, hey, that's on you, man. But the outcome will be uh, that you fit for the fire, man. Okay? You will be fit for the fire. Okay? So let me, let me go back to that... Um, scripture where I started off with okay uh, Philippians 3 and 8 okay I'm gonna read it in the King James Version and then in the NLT and then, then I'm gonna close it out so this Philippians 3 and 8 yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of the of Yahweh Shai my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may, may win Yahweh Shai so whatever you lose in this truth, man, whatever you got right now, it's nothing to be compared to the things that Yahweh Barshim Shai is going to give you, man, or able to give you, okay? Not to be compared, man, okay? Not to be compared, like it also says in Hebrews 8. It's not to be compared, okay? In the NLT, what does it say? Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Yahweh Shai. Because Satan is going to test you, man. Satan is going to put you in situations where you're going to have to choose, man. Okay? If the, Lord, if the Lord knows, okay, you have a hard time choosing between what's right and what's wrong. Okay, the test is going to be laid in front of you, man. The Heavenly Father is going to allow Satan to, to put that, the, that thing in front of you, man, to, to, to tempt you. Okay, you get a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, beautiful children. Okay, he might just lay that temptation in front of you, man. What you going to do? Okay, you better be fearful, man. You better fear your Abba Shemir Shai and pray. Always pray, watch and be sober, man. Your adversary, the devil, seeketh whom he may devour. Okay, now Satan wants you to want you out of this truth. Satan wants to sift you out of this truth. Okay, so guess what? You gotta you gotta stay sharp, man. Okay, don't be tempted by these worldly things, man. Don't get entangled in these worldly affairs. Count it but done. What if you lose it? Of course, you don't want to lose it, but what if it happens? To what point are you allowing it to affect you? All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Shemyon, Shai, Shemokakadash, Shalom to the elect.